So if you see my last video about creating a Scrivener project template, then you might be wondering, can I do this on my iPad or iPhone? Well, I have some good news and some bad news. So let's start with the bad news. The bad news is, no, you can't actually create your Scrivener project template on iPad or iPhone. But there is good news. The good news is Scrivener projects can be used on both iPad, iPhone, Windows, and Mac interchangeably. That means if I create my own custom template on a desktop computer like a, a PC or a Mac, I can go ahead and use that same template in Scrivener iOS and Scrivener for iPad OS. And so what we're gonna talk about today is how we can go about using an existing template we've created from a desktop computer on our iPad. Let's begin. Okay, so we're here on our iPad now. We're going to go ahead and open up Scrivener. That pops right up here. Now, almost every time you open this up, it's going to ask you if you want to sync. So I'm going to go ahead and sync now real quick. If you have a lot of files to sync, you can go. it'll go... It'll take a bit, but if you don't, like me right now, I only had a few, it just quickly went ahead and synced those real fast. Okay, so let's take a peek here. So you can see already, if I wanted to go ahead and create a project, I could click this button here or this guy in the top right corner. I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Project right here. You can see already, it's giving us this option here. I'm just gonna call it a blank project because that's exactly what it is. But if we click Create, we're gonna choose on, let's do on my iPad right now. You can see, it is just that. It is a blank project. That's the only type of project you can make on an iPad and an iPhone. So that's something I want you to be aware of. You can't actually create a, a project from a template from your iPad or from your iPhone. You must do that from a desktop computer. Now, all is not lost if you only own the iPad version or uh, the, I, I, the iPhone or iPad version, okay? So the good news is Scrivener offers a 30-day free trial. So if you don't already own the desktop version, you can go ahead and download that free trial and even create a bunch of projects using the, the existing templates while using that trial. And all those templates that you created could be used in the iPad version here. Now to bring this over to our iPad, okay, we first have to create a project template from our desktop computer. Now in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mac because that's what I have available to me right now. And we're gonna go ahead and open up Scrivener here. Have Scrivener opened up and ready to go. And we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these existing templates and we're gonna create a project so we can use it on our uh, iPad or iPhone, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and create this right now. I'm gonna call this um, Oliver's Epic Fantasy Template. Now the key here is you need to be able to access this file. Um, so that means you're gonna need to have Dropbox linked to your iPad or iPhone. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, be sure to check out that my video and how to set that up. Okay, assuming you have that all set up and ready to go, all you have to do is save this project in Dropbox, in Apps, Scrivener, and save it right here where your projects are. We're gonna go ahead and click Create. And boom, that project has been created. It's all set up here. You can see it here on the Mac. Let's go ahead and close it out now. And let's open it up on the iPad. Okay, I'm going to back out of here now using my mouse. It's going to sync that up. Let's click the sync button in the top right corner. It's going to load up, load up, load up. You see, there we go. Those files are coming in. They're being downloaded from Dropbox. And while that's downloading, just be aware it doesn't have to be just like my own custom template that I've made. It can be any of the templates that are available in Scrivener. It could be your novel template. Uh, it could be the novel with parts. It could be this, uh, the, the short story, um, the nonfiction, any of the existing templates or any of your custom templates that you made, you could use any of those templates on your iPad or iPhone, okay? So you can see now, here we are back on the iPad. Uh, right there, there's Oliver's Epic Fantasy Template, right? And I could click that and open it up, and there we go. You can see it has my little instruction thing I have there, has my series title, my manuscript folder. If I go into my template sheets here, I can see I have all my templates available to me. Everything is here ready to roll and ready to go. Uh, so excellent, exactly what I wanted to do. And now I've got it on my iPad and I'm ready to go. In fact, if I wanted to now, I can actually come here now and go edit. You can see I already have one there. We're gonna scroll down and find Oliver's. This is in alphabetical order, I believe. Where is it? There it is, right there. And I could click 
duplicate. So this guy right down here duplicates that process. And you can see, once you've got it in Scrivener once, you wouldn't actually need to have the desktop application all the time, unless you wanted to edit or change that existing template, right? So let's assuming, assuming you wanted to just keep the template as it is, and you could just duplicate it again and again and again to keep using it again and again and again. And you could also come up here, as we saw earlier, we can hold, press and hold this and give it a new name. We'll just call it um, the Warrior's Soul. Okay, click OK. And if you receive this notification, make sure that the project is closed on all your other devices. Um, I don't believe, yeah, looks like I closed it on the Mac here, so we're good to go there. I'm gonna go ahead and click Rename, and boom, it's gonna go ahead and sync that and get everything squared and ready to go. And there you go. You've got your uh, template all ready to go on this specific, th specific project here. Now, the reason it's taking so long for this to download here is this is a, a fairly massive template. So it's actually having to upload this all to uh, the Dropbox server, and then it'll download it into all my various devices. Uh, so just let it sit there, give it some time to get that uploaded and ready to go. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And of course, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I want to keep this channel going, but I need your help. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.